What's up? Got a Kubi. But it's a little different looking box. Like maybe this one's a little higher end. Yeah. So this is a KB2103A CPM20CV titanium. Color is gray. Huh. What could it be? Sounds like a pretty high end knife. Okay. This is the Kubi Pike, right? And so this is a Kubi, man, I have watched for a long time and had interest in and just never pulled the trigger because it costs so much money. But like most knives that cost a lot of money. What's in here? What am I missing? Cleaning cloth. Card. And there's an extra screw. One screw. Not sure what that one screw is about. But I guess it only has one screw. It's this one. Okay. So it's got a full hardware kit. Except for the pivot. <laughs> it's only got one screw. Pretty cool. All right, let's get rid of this. Yeah. All right, let's get in it. It looks like there's only one way in, and it's right there. Oh, my goodness, was that good. Wow. I mean, come on, dude. This is, this is a small knife, and I did not know it was a small knife. I mean, I didn't think it was a big behemoth of a knife, but I didn't realize that this was small. Yeah. Yeah, not, not a medium-sized knife, but this is a small knife. Blade centered. It's got a, it's got a crown spine on the blade. It's all crowned there. It's got a logo, and then it says CPM 20 CV. Really small right there. I'm not sure what that logo is. I'm not sure that I, I can... It's a knife. And a canoe? A feather? Man, I don't know. Yeah. So that flipping action, wow, is that good. And this in hand, oh man. The milling on this, this like a starburst pattern milling, centers and then goes out in both directions. And it's exactly the same on the back. And then an anodized pocket clip, anodized collars, and hardware as well. I mean, let's get in it. Let's check it in. So I have been eyeballing one of these for a long time. And uh, it truly took a great deal on eBay for me to get one. And as you saw, that was I mean, it was sold as a new knife. And it was. It was still wrapped in a plastic bag. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's kind of dirty. So, yeah, we'll get it cleaned up. And, uh, it won't take long. I'm just going to wipe it down, re-lube it, put it back together. Yeah, and there's, there's nothing complicated here. It's all very simple. Yeah. We're already wiping. Let's do it. Got some kind of lint on my towel. All right. What about this uh, backspacer? Does that need to go? No, but look at it. That's a pretty nice piece of milled anodized titanium right there. Pretty cool. But we'll leave it in place. It's stubborn. Doesn't feel like it wants to go. So we'll leave it. Yeah. 
internal uh, stop pins built into the blade. Feather light. I mean, this thing. I mean, there, there's no way this thing weighs. Oh, I thought something was broke. <laughs> because there's there's no tension there but the tension's created when it's in the when it's in the when it's completely mounted but that's kind of cool because it doesn't have any screws holding it in it's it's the components of the knife itself when you put it together it creates the the tension very cool but yeah this thing I mean, there's no way it weighs three ounces. It's definitely under three. Look at that pokey pokey blade, which I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that too, because I think that's a that's definitely a redeeming feature in this small knife. Um, I actually am not against small self defense. Uh, especially small self-defense backup knives. Maybe not a primary weapon, but a backup weapon. Because a small a small knife like this can be so effective, man. I mean, now it's up close and personal for sure, but all knife fighting would be, wouldn't it? You know. So. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of a small but pokey and deadly um, lethal hand weapon, you know, because I have a primary. So when I'm thinking about a, a, a blade as a self-defense weapon, I, I truly am kind of thinking, yeah, it's, it's a secondary. It's not a primary weapon for me. And so, what do I want that weapon to be? Uh, easy to carry. And uh, quick to be lethal, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I mean, like with any weapon, if, if I have to bring it to bear things things are serious it's not we're not we're not playing right i do think a lot of people carry knives with self defense ideas or ideology but for some reason aren't willing to say that they think like that no it's a work knife but yet i think secretly they go yeah it's a you know it's a weapon <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of lost on that logic a little bit, you know. I definitely see my pocket knife as, you know, a backup self-defense weapon or even a primary. But maybe it has to do with the fact that I carry a firearm regularly. And, uh, you know, I don't hold bones about that either, you know. It's like, I have the right to do so, and so I do. Okay. That all came together pretty easy, to be honest. Nothing complicated there whatsoever. And then, just the one screw titanium anodized black uh, matches the uh, blue theme and it holds the back of the knife and that's it wow man that that flipper action on this ooh, it's so good am I too tight I have blade play? Nope. Nope, absolutely not. I mean, man, that feels locked in. Oh, 
I mean. <laughs> okay. I mean, initially, I think looking at it, I was like, oh, that thing's tiny. I didn't realize it was so small. But I gotta tell you, now that it's in hand, and I'm running it a little bit, I am pleasantly surprised by this little... Oh, man. <laughs> that... That was thought through and executed to perfection. That That is absolutely one of the best front flippers that I own. It, it is. And I'm glad it doesn't have another deployment. Just because this is so good, why would I ever open it any other way? Oh man, is that good. Wow. So, because it's so stunningly good with that, that front flipper like that, I'm going to say that's an A action. Now, it's not false shut. Blade's really centered too, by the way. Perfect. It's, it's not drop shut. It takes a little coaxing to go down. It's probably because the blade's so light. I mean, any detent pressure at all. Is probably going to slow that blade down because it's so small. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's getting better though too. I mean, that front flipper, man. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, I'm going to say it's an A action. Even though it doesn't drop shut like that. Like, it's not going to have some stuff that other actions would have. But because... It gets an A because it quite possibly is the best front flipper that I own. <laughs> yeah, very pleased with that. Let's talk about ergonomics. So it doesn't really have a finger guard, but it has created this hollow for the hand to tuck into. And even though this is such a tiny knife, I want to show you something. Look, I'm four fingers in. And this front one is dug in and locked. This jimping on the spine is very aggressive. And so it's locking my thumb in. And so the grip on this is past confident towards very confident. Like, man, this is, this is a, a needle. This is an ice pick in my hand. I'm telling you, that's what this is. I mean... Under an arm, uh, ah, golly, I mean, I'm not going to go into it, but I'm telling you, this is, this is a wonderful little self-defense self piece. 100% it is. Let's check the pocket clip. Yeah, the ergos on that, stunning, stunning, stunning. The action, oof. I don't know about this thick material, but we'll take a look. I mean, it gets over it and runs perfect. Look at that. I mean, I've got great big knives that can't get around this stuff, but this pocket clip, wonderful. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's not ugly. What about standard jean size material? Yeah, it's good grip. You can hear it bite in there against the milling of the scale. Wonderful. My spot back here. I mean, that little knife, I wouldn't even know it was back there. It would just disappear in my pocket back there. And be there waiting on me if I ever needed to get it out. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. What about safety? Can I touch any of this stuff? Yeah. Can't get the blade. Can't get the tip. So the tip's good. The clip's good. And then it's safe in the pocket. I don't have to worry about cutting myself in the pocket. I mean, just wonderful. I wonder if it's sharp. I mean... Don't stop now, man. You're a whole bunch of wonderful. I think it's got a little booger. I'm going to handle it. All right. A couple of passes on the strop. Let's see what's up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's stupid sharp.
Okay, so sharp, ergonomics, pocket clip, price and availability. So this is why I own one of these right now. Um, and, it, and I'm going to throw this out. I mean, if I had a category this year of best small self-defense knife, I mean, this thing is going to rise right to the top. It's just, I mean, it's basically an ice pick. So its ability to to create unpleasantness with this needle of a tip and the grip that I have here, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could stick this into a two by four and it wouldn't move a centimeter in my hand. This thing's wonderful. What about reverse? Yeah, I mean, nice perch for the thumb. I mean, just wonderful. So, price and availability. So, like White Mountain Knives has this Kubi Pike. Same materials, 20 CV, titanium, titanium hardware. Um, and it's like $170. So, even if you took the, you know, the 10% code down below, this thing's still 150 bucks. So, for 150 bucks, I mean, I knew it wasn't a large knife, but looking at it, I couldn't spend 150 bucks on, on this. I just couldn't do it. Well, I, I messed around on eBay long enough that I literally found this one brand new being sold for under $100. And I was able to secure it for under $75. I think I bought it for like 72 bucks. Brand new. Well, for 72 bucks, I gotta, I gotta buy it now that I own it. I mean, you could offer me $125 and I wouldn't sell this knife to you. It's, it's amazing. So... I think it's another example of, hey, if there's knives out there that you're interested in, man, put a search out and look for them and watch for them because sometimes somebody will just come along and have one that they need to get rid of and they need the money more than they need to hold the value in the item. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened to me here. So the Kubi Pike, titanium, uh cpm 20 cv steel i mean it's a little it's a little mini ice pick what a dagger what a cool knife man anyways i appreciate you watching if you're interested in one like i say white mountain knives has them but you're around 150 dollars which is it worth 150 dollars i mean i have a hard time buying any knife for 150 dollars i have some over 150 dollars but they are very specific purchases so it's just, I mean, you start approaching a car payment or whatever, which $150 is no car payment, but I think the concept it makes sense what I'm saying. When you start, when I start thinking about bills I can pay with that money, it's like, mm, it, it, man, it's got to really be something. And uh, anyways, but under $100, that's a given. Appreciate you watching.